My voice sounds so raspy and oh my voice is so raspy. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, what what are you doing? I'm waiting. I'm not supposed to wait. Sorry. Hey everyone. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I have this girl here. I've been getting requests on social media, snap, insta stories. You guys have been telling me to do something with her. I'm so popular. <laughs> this is my sister. You guys have seen on my snap and on my insta stories and you guys have been asking me to do something with her. Getting this girl to sit down here, it was, it was like World War Three. She kept making excuses, she had to go back. I literally had to beg her to film this video with her. So we're finally doing it. She's going back tomorrow. So I'm taking advantage of okay. the fact that she's in Lagos right now. So we're going to be doing the sister tag. I felt like it was like a perfect place to start from, a perfect video to do. Uh, we're probably going to film more videos in the future. But I feel like we should start with the sister tag just so that you guys know, get to know, you guys already know me to an extent, but just get to understand like, I don't know her madness, you know, cause she's not okay. So um, the tag has 25 questions. And we're just going to jump right into it. Okay, so the first question is, who is the oldest slash youngest? Who is the oldest? Yeah, I'm the oldest. I have two years on her. Born 1992. Huh. The second question is, what do you like and hate about your sister? I want you to go first. I feel like hate is a very strong word. Yeah. What do I like about my sister? Mm -hmm. This young woman here, is very caring. She loves to act like she's tough as pebbles. What an honest. You're so stupid. Which she one is tough as pebbles again? As soft as marshmallows. <laughs> what do you hate about your sister? Hate is a very strong word. Mm -hmm. I'd rather use dislike or I'd rather say what irritates you oh about your sister. So, what irritates you about me? Have you had an argument with this girl before? It's like if you're having an argument with Chidaman, oh my god, her facts are always correct. <laughs> Whatever you are saying is not registering in her brain. Oh my god. If you like, bring oh dictionary and therapist. No, it's not that bad. Let me tell you because it is never right. Oh my god. This woman right here, her argument points. If you go into an argument unprepared, forget it. That's all I have to say. Okay. What do you like about your sister? I just like the fact that she's like, I don't know, she's. So, <laughs> so, what do you like about your sister? The thing I like about my sister, really, is also kind of the same thing that I hate. Norma has like a very like easy, breezy way to life. Like, half of the things that bother me, eh, she cannot be bothered. You know? Half of the things that I'll just spend time thinking about, Norma does not give a care. Do you understand? She just doesn't care. And it's really good because like, I don't know, it's really because I'm the, I, I'm kind of the opposite. I tend to overthink things sometimes and just like stress on things that like even drive me nuts sometimes. Like it's always like very good I feel like talking to her when I'm like that because she always just like changes the perspective of everything. She just tells me that these things that you're stressing over like you really don't have to be stressing over them. So she has this very very chill, I don't know, just way of living life and I'm not like that and I envy it sometimes. However, sometimes you really want her to be bothered like there are some times that you just want her to actually even just like i don't know be interested bother worry about what is going on she still doesn't care at that point and to me i feel like sometimes can be a problem you know the third one is what do you and your sister have in common i think this question is kind of weird for me because why i mean it's like our personalities are different mm -hmm. but still we have a, we have a lot of similarities like, like in the way we think about some certain things the way we choose to react to some certain things the things that we like the as things well. that we like as yeah. well yeah. yeah yeah so we have a lot in common if Norma likes a book because we read a lot so if she likes a book I am going to like a book if she likes a movie I'm going to like a movie like we have the same taste when it comes to a lot of things there are a few things that maybe we might not agree like on like she likes certain things and I don't but then most of the time about 90% of the time actually we tend to like the same things the fourth question is what's your funniest memory do you know I was thinking about this in the morning and it was the most random thing ever. One time I went to the UK in 2010, I think. 
and we were standing at the bus stop waiting for the bus to come <laughs> and take us <sighs> home. And then while we were standing there, like there were like a lot of British people were there with their British accents, and then a lot of people were there, and then you know it was. And then the weirdest thing was we had a whole Igbo language to speak, but we chose not to speak Igbo. Mm-hmm. Says talking gibberish. Gibberish. And not even we invented a language on the spot, mm-hmm. and we were just laughing. I'm talking around trash. trash. Do you know? Oh my god. We were, it was. Do you I know? remember that day clearly. We were just opposite the train station, and then she would say crap, and I'll reply with another kind of crap. And we were just talking trash. And we, we were, were laughing, laughing random. You was, would think that we were actually having a funny conversation, but we we're not saying. And I remember laughing so hard that day. My chest, my cheeks, my. T- One of the funniest memories for me, like. Thinking back, like at the time when it was happening, it wasn't funny. Mm-hmm. But every single time I remember it right now, <laughs> I just start laughing. When I was in the UK, like you know, I started schooling. It was so difficult adjusting to a lot of things. And I remember my first few PMAs because normally it's literally the first person I'll call to rant about anything. Third PMA, I remember that there was this one that I had put in so much work into, and I remember that every time I'd always complain and be like, you know, this is so difficult. This is like stressing me the hell out. And I'll be like, you are worrying too much about it. You'll be fine. People have gone and done masters before. You're going to get better. Things are going to get easier. I finished doing this PMA. I can't even remember what module that thing was. But then I was so proud of the work that I had put in and I had done everything and then I was trying to insert this table that I had done into my work and I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to do it and at this time like the paper was due by 9 a.m. so I think I started trying to like put that thing into my work like around 6 7 a.m. in the morning and I kept on struggling with it I started calling some of my classmates some of them were struggling with it as well and if you don't submit by 9 you're going to lose 3 marks I was so emotionally invested in that work because I had worked my ass off I remember when it was 9 a.m. like I I just lost it. I started crying. I called my sister. I was just screaming and crying. Ha 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 ha. Then I didn't do this and I'm going to fail this, that, 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 that. I was crying so much that no most automatic reaction to whenever I'm like this is just calm down. It's going to be all right. No one was like, do you know what? Let me call mommy. You're coming back. It's okay. It's enough. She was so worried that morning that Norma was like, no, that this cannot be normal. Norma was like, she's going to call my mom. That no, that's it. That you can be a boy, a camera maker, and a tower. No, you go too much. I think my son is not my first. Every time I remember this, I just start laughing because she was serious and she literally woke my mom up from sleep. And she was like, That she didn't have to start coming back. That, like, it's okay, it's done. She's no longer doing it again. That she's in support. That I should just give up and come back. Every time I remember it now, it's so funny. It wasn't funny at the time, but it is so freaking funny. She was so resigned with the way she was answering. She was like, Yeah, she understands. That it's fine, that she understands that if I give up at this point, that nobody will sign it in track. I told my mom that, look, this master's is so stressful, emotionally, for both of us. And that at this point, she's not coping well. And that master's is not by force. Oh my god. She's not coming home. Oh my god, it's so funny. But like, I'm sorry, every time I remember this particular story, I just start laughing because that's how funny it is. The fifth one is, what do you and your sister do for fun? Read books. Watch movies. Like. Watch movies. Read books. I feel like when we were a lot younger, it used to be a lot more fun. You like to go. I've never been someone that was like a clubbing party kind of person. I'll, I'll do those things once in a while. But I feel like we, we literally like at the same place now that the things we find fun are just maybe chill, laid back, like laid back stuff. But I remember when we were going, she was like more into like, you know, going out and doing stuff like that. But she doesn't do that that much anymore. So, yeah. yeah. Six is describe your sister in one word. Thinker. Or maybe warrior. Thinker. She can think for me, you, Africa, and the continent, and the world. If you ask me to describe Noma in one word, I'll just say crazy. Her brain is not complete. Please. Some things are missing. She's That's not the kind of person you want to stay with in a situation where you don't want to laugh. It was like she's just crazy. And some, her reaction to things are so random sometimes. And no matter how much you think you know her, the kind of things that come out from my mouth. <laughs> the seventh one is, have you ever liked one of your sister's friends? The answer would be no. Because I, I feel that this question is like a guy. Like I, I'm assuming that it would be a guy, a guy from the way that the question was like. And the, the answer is no. We schooled in different states. We schooled in different everything. So I hardly ever came across 
her male friend yeah. in the first place. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. No, no. I never liked any of my friends either, so. You don't like Chris Brown? It's Chris Brown, your friend. No, it's not the loose one. I'm like, if Nona sees Chris Brown right now, I don't know what she's going to do. She's like, you don't like Chris Brown. It's Chris Brown, your friend. I honestly don't like Chris Brown. Come to think of it. I like his music. I don't like him. So, I hate that. Number eight is what's your nickname people call? What do people call you? It would have to be on my blaze. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. School, like, what will most people just call you like right now? Oma. Oma. Everybody yeah. calls me Oma. With me, if you don't know right now, Dimma is actually not my full name. My name is Che Dimma. Che Dimma. De That's actually my name. I've said this a couple of times on this channel. However, like, you know, growing up going to uni, a lot of people were just calling me Dimma Dimma all the time and it kind of stuck. I have other abbreviations to my name, like other nicknames that people will call me sometimes. But Dimma is the more common one. The ninth one is... Who keeps a cleaner room? Hmm. That is not even a question. My brethren. <laughs> My brethren. This woman. Chidema. Keeps a cleaner room. Yeah. She is the messier one. I am like, I've told you guys that I'm borderline OCD. Like, I like it when things are organized. Yes. It is not borderline. No, my eh, eh, because don't start. I am. Um, oh? I am not. No, my, I feel like people don't know what OCD is. OCD is obsessive, compulsive. Disorder. Do you know what compulsive is? You can't control yourself. Okay, let me give you guys an example. If I sit on a bed and stand up in a hurry, sit, I didn't say laugh. So sit, so like a small dent. And then I, I rush up to the pub and then I come back and forget to stretch. Please. If you're obsessed about the arrangement of your bed, what is that? It's not an obsession. No, but that's like. It's not an obsession that is compulsive. <laughs> <laughs> I keep a cleaner room, end of story, because that's um, all. Number 10 is what does your sister think about the most? I would have to say her channel, work, work generally, yeah. work as a whole. Right now, Noma is graduating in June and I feel like the thing that she thinks about the most is just finishing school and graduating in June. So that's what she thinks about the most. Number 11 is who reads more? I would have to say me. Why would you say? I would say me because I, I read a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah. See, the, we both love books here. Yeah. We read a lot. However, Norma is not as selective yes. as I am when it comes to reading. Like, if I want to read a book now, I go look at reviews, I look at the author, I look at just like, I look at, there are a lot of factors that I consider before I actually give a book my time. Norma, look, I would I read, read things that will give me brain fuck. I will read from the Grace Bilonia's mistress, abused wife of the Greek servant gets mad. I would read things i read a lot of stuff yeah she reads a lot of stuff yeah. so yeah i'm not selective at all yeah i mean if i get something i don't like i'm probably going to stop halfway but i'm going to start start yeah but then that's the thing like she would actually give it a try i can actually dismiss something based on reviews alone number 12 is what do you like to do together go see a movie go have drinks go have lunch Chill. And you read. read. Sometimes you can start a book the same together. books. Yeah, yeah. we we'll start a book together and then read it together and then talk about. And call the... each other every second, commenting on what we've read till we finish. Or the call book. each other to spoil some certain chapters, depending on who is reading faster. Or oh, don't tell me that this happened. You should be like, finish the book first. Go and read it for yourself. Number thirteen is who is the most talented. That's a weird question. Yeah, it's really weird because I don't know. I, don't, like, I can't. We have different talents. Yes. Like, she's more talented when it comes to some certain things, and I'm clueless Obviously, in those more areas. In some she knows how to dance. She's a better dancer than I am. She's a better singer than I am. You know, obviously when it comes to makeup, she probably say me and stuff like that. But then, yes. I don't know, I feel like we're both equally talented. Just, yeah. just in different, different things. things. Yeah. 14 is, what's your favorite beauty brand? This is a difficult question <laughs> for me. It's not a difficult question. For me, because okay. I'm not... Just okay, what brand have you bought the most things from in your life? That would be MAC, but that doesn't mean that MAC is my... But so what is your favorite beauty brand then? Why is this question so hard for you? I have no idea. I'm really thinking about it. I have to go with MAC though. Yeah. Because I know that a lot of the trips that we've made to MAC, the MAC store is with her. Like she ends up getting a lot of things from MAC. I have a lot of stuff from MAC, but I have a couple of stuff from other makeup brands, from most of my stuff. But then would you consider those brands favorites? Will you rush off to buy every single thing that you come out with? No. Yeah. That's the thing, Sha, because it's the same thing with me. I've said this before on this channel. Like MAC is one of those brands that I feel like, in as much as like, you know, they are getting into the whole influencer marketing thing now. You know, like other brands. Mac is that one brand that I feel like, even without influencers pushing their stuff, 
I could easily go into their store and just, yeah. be, you know, be really curious about some of the things that they have on display. There are brands that I know that I would not touch, you know, mm -hmm. if I have not seen somebody that I know, like, used stuff from them. So, yeah. And um, 15 is, what is your sister really bad at? That's a difficult question. What are you really bad at? Come on, they asked you first. What am I really bad at? Drinking alcohol. Yeah. She's terrible at drinking alcohol. I don't know. Actually, don't... she... The thing is, she never even used to drink alcohol. She tried it one time and she was like, hell no, not for me. But one thing I think that she's really bad at is fixing, like, lashes. Like, no one cannot be bothered. Like, she has reached the conclusion that she cannot do some things when it comes to makeup. The 16 is, what's the best thing about one another? The best thing? How many we answer this question? Yeah, we answer something, like, similar to it, but just, like, see something. It's kind of tied into the first thing I said, but... My sister knows how to call. Hmm. Family, especially, 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 I'm exceptionally good at calling family members. Uh, I'll just say the thing I like the most about her is just that I feel like it, literally, I, Noma is my best friend. Mm -hmm. You know, I have friends, but like Noma literally is my best friend. She's really easy to talk to. She knows all my secrets. She knows everything. Uh, number seventeen is who takes longer to get ready. The answer I want to give. Just give the answer. If I give it, like, what do you beat me? Just give the answer. Let me hear you. I would say to the man, it takes a longer time. Why would you say that I take a longer, longer time to get ready? No, I was literally waiting for you for like, maybe in the past, I would gladly say yes that, you know, I take longer because okay. I'll do my makeup. Do you know what? Stuff. Let's put it this way. She might do her, she might get done with her makeup first, but I'm probably going to be dressed and standing by the side before she does. That's a bloody lie, no ma. That's a lie. That's a lie from the peaks of hell. Heels or flats? Flats. Yeah. Flats for me to flats. That's, Definitely flats. That heels life, man. I don't know how y'all do it. What is the last thing you talked about today before we started filming? I don't know. I told you I was going to get batteries. I noticed that the battery in my mic, it was there. So I had to rush out and go get some batteries. That's literally the last thing we talked about. Um, number 20 is, are you close? We already answered that several yes. times. We are, we, are, we are each other's best friends. So what's one thing that you can do that your sister can't? I can tell you the side effects of paracetamol. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably, you know, create a feasible business model of any business I do and give me and she can't. And so bad at business. Yeah, so that's the thing. It's just like she she's like she's she's studying pharmacy. I did like my master's in something business related. What's a weird habit of your sister? This question made me confused because I have no I have no answer to that question. Yeah, because I'm not weird, just like you know, same. You know? In but fact I've got some answer. Oh well, what is it? She is always dressing her bed. That is a weird habit. No, please. <laughs> She is always not, dressing her bed. Dressing it is weird. Every time she's stretching bed. What is that? Somebody cannot sit and stand up. One very weird habit. It's not really a habit, I guess. It's more like some stupid thing that she always does. Is Noma is the better singer, like I said. Like she's even gone for singing competitions. That's how well Noma can sing. Noma can actually love a song for like two years <laughs> and be singing complete trash when it comes to the lyrics. And then it, maybe it takes me singing it or someone singing it or her coming across the lyrics for her to realize that she's been hearing something that nobody else, aside from normal hears whenever they listen to that song. She does it all the time. I, I won't say I have a problem with my hearing. My hearing is perfectly fine. Are you sure? For some weird reason, when I hear some certain things, my brain just processes something all together. Um, there's this one that says, what was your biggest fight or argument? I feel like for me, eh, we fight over the most stupid Things. Yes, and, I tell and you, then we forget. Cause we forget because we could actually have a full blown argument screaming, get out, don't talk to me, you're mad. Eh? Screaming at each other over maybe you didn't close the door properly when you left the room. And then you just go like, or just, maybe you sat on the bed and you did not dress it. Like when I read this question in the morning, I actually tried thinking to a specific fight that we had had and I, yeah. I couldn't dress it. Nothing. 24 is describe the last thing you did with your sister yesterday. We got on a plane. Yeah. And we came to Lagos. Yeah. So the last one is complete the statement. My sister is that's my cheek. Yeah. Oh my god. My sister is crazy. 
I still stand on that statement. <laughs> Please, people. Yeah. Let me explain something to you guys. She's actually acting all nice and like I'm normal not, in this I'm video. Not, I'm, I'm, normal is not like this on a normal day. So, yeah. I'm not crazy. I just I look, look into me. I used to crazy. Yeah, she is crazy, so yeah. Please, crazy. I need to do my outro. So yeah, yeah that's outro. it. My outro. Outro. <laughs> so that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna do more videos in the future. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos with her. Well, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I'll Say bye bye you. to the camera. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget I was here. I'm a blaze. AKA Miss Popular. Bye guys. She loves me. Don't mind. Oh, oh forget all this thing. Do you look? <laughs> <laughs>